In this problem, we're told to integrate e to the negative 3x dx from 0 to 2. And we have to evaluate this without a calculator. So we need to integrate this function. And the integral is negative 1 third e to the negative 3x. And that will be evaluated from 0 to 2. Now, if you don't immediately see that the integral of this function is this, here's the thought process. You should know that the derivative of a base b exponential function is that base b exponential function. So for example, the derivative of e to the negative 3x would be e to the negative 3x. But we have an inner function right here, so we have to apply the chain rule. So it's e to the negative 3x times negative 3. Okay, now that's not quite the same as what we have here. We have this extra factor of negative 3, which we need to get rid of. And we can get rid of that by introducing a factor of negative 1 third. So watch this. The derivative of negative 1 third e to the negative 3x will be negative 1 third, because a constant multiplier stays out front, times the derivative of e to the negative 3x, which is e to the negative 3x times negative 3 by the chain rule. And you can see the negative 1 third and the negative 3 will cancel out, just leaving me with e to the negative 3x. So the derivative of negative 1 third e to the negative 3x is e to the negative 3x. And that's exactly the reverse thought process of what we have up here. The integral of e to the negative 3x is negative 1 third e to the negative 3x. And we know that's true because if you take the derivative of this, which we did right down here, you get e to the negative 3x right there. Okay, so that's the integration. Now we need to evaluate this from 0 to 2. And we have to do this without a calculator, so we will probably end up with an expression in terms of e for our answer, and that's okay. So this is going to be, let's put the negative 1 third out front, and this will be e to the power of negative 6 minus e to the power of 0. And e to the 0, of course, is just 1. So what I'm going to do now is flip those two around, switch places, which would be the negative of the expression in parentheses. And in the process, I get rid of that negative sign. And this e to the 0, of course, is just 1. So let's write this as positive 1 third times 1 minus e to the negative 6. And if you wanted to, you could distribute the 1 third. It would be 1 third minus e to the negative 6 over 3. And either of these would be correct ways to write the answer. But on a multiple choice question, it could show up either way. So you should be able to move from one to the other pretty quickly, either on paper or even mentally.